sharpening colored pencils can turn a otherwise enjoyable hobby into a frustrating exercise in expletives and wasting money. Given my recent problems with the Dial 155, as you can see in my previous video, this, people, this. This is a $5 pencil. It's not the first pencil it's destroyed. I decided to try something different. Enter stage this direction, the Exacto Pro Teacher Electric Sharpener. I'm giving this a try for a number of reasons. One, I don't always like using hand sharpeners. Two, I don't have any other hand crank sharpeners. And I seen this at Target. This right here has a few different things on the box. It claims it's adjustable for six pencil sizes. The reason I picked it up, colored pencil compatible. If I don't like it because it can't sharpen my colored pencils, it's going right back to the store. And I got a number of colored pencils we're gonna test this with. We got Lightfast, Prisma, Luminance, Pablo, Polychromos here. We're gonna give them all a go in this thing and see how it does. Various size pencils, various soft and hard leads. Let's give it a shot. So let's pop this open. I have not opened this yet. There's no plastic there, which I find kind of odd. No tape, no nothing. We got, is this a manual? It might be. Features, safety, how to use, maintenance. We'll go through all of that. See what comes in the box. The plug seems like it's attached to the sharpener itself. Oh, this might be big. Holy shit. It's huge. It's as big as my head. What the hell? I thought the box was just oversized. All right, so for comparison, if you need anything more than it's as big as my head, let's lay it down on the side real quick. That's a near full size polychromos. Cord seems fairly long. Where the hell am I gonna put this on my desk? I'm not even sure I got the room for it. It's got little suction cups on the bottom of it. Let's see here. How well do they work? They work well enough. Says it's okay. Stop it. I get it. You stick. Okay, that's our tip. I'm easily amused. RTFM. LED goes off. The sharpener is ready for another pencil. This patented system prevents over sharpening of the pencil and allows for a perfect and safe point size. Safe. Does that mean it's gonna be dull? I'm not looking for safe. I'm looking for stabby. Sharpest pencils. All right, so I have a variety of pencils here. First, I'm interested in the larger pencils like Luminance and the Derwent Lightface. Those are the two that are giving me most trouble with the Doll 155 right now. So we are gonna take the Karen Dash Pencil Lender right here. You can see it's not in bad shape. It's not one that I use often. See how it does. Stick it in. Uh, it auto stopped. Actually, I did a damn nice job. So I'm gonna break the point on this and we're gonna see how it does with a pencil that has no point. But first, we're gonna see how much it takes off the pencil. So this pencil is from tip to end, six inches. There we go. So let's stick it in. We're gonna see how it goes. First, we'll break it completely broken off. Okay, 
Okay, so stopped, blue light. Again, a nice sharp point. I am impressed. It's a thing of beauty. From a completely broken point, it took off a little more than a quarter inch. Not so bad. We've seen in the previous video what the DAW 155 will do to a pencil. Um, need I show you? It went off somewhere into the nether. It disappeared it on me. Oh well. There went life fast that the doll flattened out. Let's see how it does repairing a pencil. Four and three quarter about. Let's see how long it takes us to repair it. And it did nicely too. I'm impressed. So we had what? I said four and three quarter just barely below that. It took nothing off of that pencil to repair it. Look at that. Now keep in mind this is an off-center core, but it's not flat anymore. It is a little mollywampus because it's using the point. Look at that. That's a thing of beauty compared to what it was before. I'm not going to get overly hopeful here. So these are my thicker pencils. Let's do another there went life fast that the doll screwed up. You see the damage it did? It's all chewed up. And again, it's coming to, and it, I mean, look at these first off, look at that point. It's looking good so far. Now I want you all to keep in mind that this is not a review because I can't speak to the longevity of this. Sharpen this um, titanium buff Karen Dash. Stick it in. And again, another good outcome. Don't know what's on the end of this. Looks like poop. I know it's not poop, but kind of looks that way. But look at that point. Let's go from poop. Let's go from shit to glorious. Okay, so those are four pencils: a Caran Dash colorless blender, which is kind of firm, a regular luminance, which is soft, and then there went, which kind of sits somewhere in between Pablo and. Prisma, Pablo, and Luminance, they, they vary. So you can't judge it off of just one pencil. There went here, I'm gonna break the tip on this one, and then we're gonna sharpen it, see how it does, and we'll move on to a couple different pencils, to some other pencils. This always feels wrong. It's completely broken. Let's measure it, see how much it takes off. And we got close to five and three quarter there. Okay. So we got from point to that five and a half. So it only took, it's a little more than five and a half. So we took less than a quarter of a pencil off of it. It's pretty cool. Some people don't like the bite marks of hand crank sharpeners. This is leaving some marks along here, less noticeable. It's from its spinning because it does have a guide in there. It does got to grab the pencil somehow. Now we are going to go from in the middle ground of hard and soft, a firm, firm color pencil. This is a polychromos. Broke it off. See what it does. Again, nice sharp lead looks good. No weirdness going on. Let's see how much it took off. We were at just about six inches. Um, we took about a quarter of pencil off. Still not bad considering you're going from a completely bodged point. Let's text, test it with a hexagonal pencil. This is a Karen Dash Pablo. Point is fairly firm, not Prisma soft, not polychromos hard. It's like somewhere in the middle. About six and three quarter pencil here. It doesn't have a full point on it, so I'm just gonna break some of the point off and see how it does with a hex pencil. And again, a beautiful point. This is doing amazing. We're not breaking anything yet. Uh, these can break. I've had, had them break sharpening. It's not common. So we get a pencil here, a Pablo. As you can see, it's dulled out. So we're gonna measure it and see how much pencil this sharpener does up trying to get a point back on it. Just under six and a half inches. So as you can see, 
We got a fully renewed point here. Not bad at all, quite happy with that. Let's go for the soft end of things, a Prisma color. Just under six and three quarter. And it sharpened it just fine. Let's see how it, yeah, it didn't weaken the core. Holding up. Let's see how it does with this one. Dial flattened out the side of this pencil. Let's see how it does repairing it. Good as now. We got another Prisma here, another white. Break the whole point. It's gonna measure it for kicks and giggles. Uh, just about six and a quarter. Yeah, that's from a completely broken tip. We went from six and a quarter to just under six inches. I mean, you completely break a point to where it's down below the wood here. What do you expect? I'm going to say I'm impressed. If this holds up and continues to perform this way, I'm going to say it's worth the money for the initial performance. I don't know how it's going to hold up long term. I don't know how fast it's going to gunk up. I don't know how long the blades are going to hold their uh, sharpness. I don't know how long the motor's going to last. I can't speak to longevity. But as far as the initial impressions, I would recommend it. If you want to go for something that's more... Uh, established and well known do your research so this is definitely i like it uh, i don't know what else to say so i hope you found this informative um i expected it to just chew away my pencils and it's not doing that it's actually repairing them and putting a good point on them i'm greg let me know what you think in the comments down below i hope you found it useful have a good one maybe drop a sub See you next time. All right, so I don't see anything in the instructions telling you how to get this. Oh, there it is. You just gotta pull. Use some force and it feels like it's gonna break.